Hello and welcome to this Friday video. This will be the first one of a series of eight. Each of these Friday videos are going to cover some homework problem. And I'll choose that homework problem based on whether or not it's a difficult problem or it's one that allows us to see the power of StatCrunch. And for this week, we're choosing problem number seven because it shows the power of StatCrunch. Now, I do want to make a little side announcement here. My numbers are not going to be your numbers. So be aware that the process will be the same, the talking will be the same, but the actual answers may differ. So pop that popcorn, curl up with a nice little blanket, and let's get started on this problem. For this problem, we're given a random sample of 15 college students. We're asked how many hours per week do you typically work outside the home, and the responses are shown here. Now, the first thing we're going to have to do whenever we do statistical analysis is get the data into the computer program. Now, we could, if we were using Excel, just copy and paste. Well, I guess we can't. We can click on this little icon here and we can open it in Excel. We could copy it to our clipboard. Or I'm going to show you how to use StatCrunch, which is a genuine statistical program. I'm going to click on Open in StatCrunch. And this pops up for me. Well, apparently my Java isn't set up correctly. Yours may be, it may not be, but I'm going to open this in the new StatCrunch. Because I actually like the, have the look of the new StatCrunch. So I'll just click on that, and this pops up. Notice we've got the data already imported. I don't need that anymore, so I'll just close that. We've got the data already imported here. It matches this data. Um, I'm going to change the variable name. Notice I just clicked on var1. I'm going to hit backspace a few times. And this is work time. and that is a bracket. Some will call it a square bracket, but it's just a bracket. And a closing sp square bracket to indicate the units. So work time. And all the data is now in StatCrunch. We can do a lot of stuff. Most importantly, we can create a histogram. How do we create histograms in StatCrunch? Graph, because histogram is a graph. I'm going to select histogram because we want to do a histogram. Select the column, in other words, select what variable we want to do a histogram on. And just click on it. Right click. No, I'm sorry, left click. And then next week, we're going to want to look at some of these display options. This week, we're not. We're just going to hit Compute. And there's my histogram. Now let's look at what these histograms are. I'm mousing over each of these. So I'm going to go with the very first histogram. The frequency is 2. That means there are two observations in this bin. What defines the endpoints of the bin? Well, if I look down at the last, the second line of that yellow box, I got a 0 and a 5. I have a square bracket on the left, and I have a parenthesis on the right. That means I am including all numbers between 0 and 5, and I'm including the number 0, but not 5. I am including 0 because that bracket indicates that I am including 0. Parenthesis indicates that I am not including the 5. Including 0, not including 5. So there's 2 between 0 and 5, and here they are, number 2 and number 2. Between 5 and 10, notice again, square bracket on the 5, Parenthesis on the 10, I am including 5, not including 10. I've only got 1 between 5 and 10, inclusive of 5. And there it is. Boom. There's none between 10 and 15. I've got 4 between 15 and 20, including 15 because of the parenthesis. So let's find those 4 between 15 and 20, not including 20. There's 1, 2, 3, and the 17 makes 4. That's why the height of this histogram, the height of this bar, is 4, and etc. So now let's just see which of our, ah, there it is. This looks exactly like our histogram. So I'm going to choose A. And again, yours may differ. Final check, because it's multiple choice, you only get one chance. 
and I'm excellent. Let's move on to the second part. The second part to this asks if the data are skewed or symmetric. Skewed left, skewed right, or symmetric. The direction of the skew is always in the direction of the tail. So if we look at C here, we have this tail off to the left. It's a little, the only thing we can call it is the tail. If B were correct, we have the tail off to the right. A is the one that's correct. We have our tail in which direction? We have it off to the left. So the data are skewed left. Final check. Woohoo! I'm fantastic. Part three. The mean number of hours worked by college students outside the home is approximately blank hours. Okay, I don't need this histogram anymore, so I'm going to close it. That's what this little X is. Notice when I close it, I now have a 1 up here on the stat crunch. So I didn't really close it. If I click there, I can retrieve it just by clicking on histogram, and there it is. But we don't need the histogram. We need to calculate the mean number of hours. Now, if we're going to do this by hand, all we have to do is add up all these numbers and divide by 15. I'll let you do that. Go ahead and hit pause, add them all. Yeah, don't do that. Let's go and use StatCrunch. Stat, because we're doing some sort of statistics. Summary stats, because we're doing summary statistics. And we're going to do it by columns, because the, di uh, the variables are in columns. Click. Select my variable. Select my statistics. I'm just going to take the default. I've got a whole lot of others if I needed them. And compute. That was tough. Not. The mean is 18.8 .8 for me. So, boom. The mean number of hours, the mean is 18.8. .8. I'm going to check my answer. Ha! That's nice work. The median. The median's 20. Remember what the median is? It's the it's the value that splits the data essentially into two halves. Well, the median here is 20. 2, 0. Check answer. Ha! I'm well done. I didn't even know I was cooking. So we'll get rid of that. I think we have one. Oh, now all the parts. Which measure of central tendency better describes hours worked? Here's the rule. If the data are symmetric, you use the mean. If the data are skewed, you'll use the median. And if the data are categorical, you'll use the mode. So mean if the data are symmetric, median if the data are skewed, and mode if the data are categorical. Back here, we said they were skewed, so we're going to use the median. Final check. I'm a nice piece of work. Wait, that's not what they meant. So again, if the data are symmetric, use the mean. If the data are skewed, use the median. And if the data are categorical, use the mode. And so here's what we did in this problem. Let's scroll back up there. The first and the most important thing we did is we figured out how to get this data into StatCrunch. And we just clicked on this little icon here and open in StatCrunch. And here's the data. Second thing I did was change the variable variable name from var1 to work time hour. Again, the units in brackets. And then all the data are already in, populated courtesy of StatCrunch. First thing, we found the histogram. Graph, histogram, and then selected the columns. Again, next week, we'll use these two sets of display options, but for now we're just going to compute, and there's the histogram. We noted that the histogram indicated that the data were skewed to the left, because left is where the tail is. We calculated the mean and the median of the data by going up here to stat, summary stats, columns, and again columns because the data, the variable are columns, work hour, we went with the default selections. The mean's 18.8. .8, the median is 20. 
and then we had to decide which measure of central tendency was appropriate. Since the data are skewed, the median is appropriate. If the data were symmetric, then we would use the mean. And if the data were categorical, we would use the mode. But this is numeric data. And that's it. Hopefully, this video was helpful for you. I know it was helpful for me. So take care of yourself. And if you got questions, leave them in the discussion room. Bye.